Okay, so I think I may have just found the coolest portfolio website I've ever seen. So I absolutely have to share this with you and I want you to check this out. So go to bruno-simon.com. This will also be linked in the video description and I just wanna share what I found here. So this is a portfolio website. It looks like it's for a developer and it's definitely an overkill for what you need, but it's absolutely amazing and it just gets you hooked into it right away and it definitely says a lot about the person. So. I got on this site here and right away I realized there's a car so it's kind of obvious that I have to drive this car and I saw these instructions right here. Now I went over to the right here and I saw these instructions on how to add features to the car like speed up the car, uh, you can also honk here and so on. So I started driving this thing around here. So right away I started testing the site, I can see his name right there, that's really cool. I can knock over all these objects, something very satisfying about that. And let's just go ahead and drive around the site here. So anybody that goes to the site would probably by default just follow these paths right here after knocking over a few items. And here is this awesome navigation bar and I can actually zoom out with my mouse here and I can see this version of a nav bar. It's kind of like a fork in the road here. So I see a playground, which is kind of random, but you're able just to show off features here. I see information about this person, so Bruno and then the projects here. So honestly, I got a little bit distracted and went to this playground right away and started knocking things over here. So this is kind of random, but I guess you can knock things over and just be happy. Hit enter, that'll reset it. And then this awesome bowling alley. So let's go ahead and try this. So we'll see if we can get a strike here. And we got that on the first attempt. Now I wanna give this a little bit more power. Let's go ahead and hit shift and go. Okay, so that was too much power and that didn't work. So I wanna give this one more try. And I think I need to line this up a little bit better. So let's try this. And there we go. So regardless of what this person's work looks like, uh, the site is impressive enough to get anybody's attention. This absolutely has me hooked and I'll never forget this one. So I was actually on this feature and I tried to jump it with no power or just by driving the car and apparently that doesn't work too well. So I used the shift option here. So I'm gonna line this up and let's see if I can clear the goalpost and there we go, awesome. Okay, so got a little distracted on the playground. If I go here, I see all this information. So we see the Twitter account, GitHub, LinkedIn, Mail, and let's see, so here's kind of like a resume. So we can zoom in. I'm really curious on how this would work on a phone. I actually have to try this. So freelancer, teacher, lead developer, and lead developer. Now, I'm actually kind of curious on what he does here. So let's go ahead and check out the portfolio work. So if we go back to this fork in the road, we can see projects, probably the coolest navigation bar I've ever seen. And here we have a 3JS journey. So he was a developer, looks like it's a course. So I can actually click on this and open up the course. Now, it looks like some of these items probably don't have links, and I'm really curious on what this looks like in the back end. Uh, but we have all these items, so it looks like a bunch of billboards in a desert, really cool. Wish I can see more about these, but I guess it's only whatever items are linked up. So if I go to this course, I guess shout out for his course here. Any work that Bruno does is, is probably gonna be amazing at this point. So obviously his course looks awesome. So we see a course here. And the cool thing is, is if, if I'm away from the car, so if I'm away from the car and I hit up or down or any of those navigation keys, I can actually just reappear at the car. So if I go away and I'm lost, so usability is actually kind of nice. So let's see, we see more information here. A Little bit hard to read. I guess if I hover over that, then we see another workplace of his, I think. Oh no, it's just a project here. So it looks like he's plotting information on a chart here. So cool, I absolutely love the creativity. So. Uh, a++ plus 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 for creativity. I don't know what kind of grade you can give this because it's on a level of its own. Uh, it accomplishes technically everything a portfolio site needs to accomplish. Now, some people may find this usability hard, but uh, Bruno is definitely the type of person that's creative. So uh, if anybody doesn't like this, I'm pretty sure Bruno wouldn't want to work with him anyway. So definitely props to him on this. Now, I do want to check this on a phone. So let's try this out. We'll go ahead and go to Bruno-Simon, and let's see what this looks like. So I'll do Bruno. Okay, so let's try this. I'll just keep driving around here. We'll wait while it's loading. I'm really curious on how he handled the navigation. So right now, let's see if you can see that. The site is loading. 
kind of hard to see. If anything, I'll make it full screen. So I'm going to hit start here on the phone. I guess it's not too mobile friendly, so let's give it a second and we'll wait here. Meanwhile, I'll just drive around like a maniac here and knock things over. You know, let's go back to these blocks here. Okay, so it looks like it's not that mobile responsive. So uh, if you have a chance, check it out. Let me know in the comment section. And if you see any other cool portfolio websites, uh, send them to me because anything unique like this, not just a regular portfolio site, so don't just send me yours. But if there's something that's cool like this, send it over. I definitely want to check it out and review it. So I guess that's my only critique of the site here because uh, it's not that mobile friendly. So I see that being an issue. So I guess you can let people know. What I would probably do is just have like a different version of it. So if I go to the mobile version and I hit start here, let's see if I can try to change the focus. It looks like it doesn't do much. So let me know if you can try that and if it actually works, because at this point, it doesn't do anything. So yeah, awesome site. Just wanted to share that, check it out, and find him on Twitter or wherever his social platforms are. I'm definitely gonna do some research on him and see what else, what else he's sharing, and probably check out that course too.